Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Little Bumble Bear's Let's Play Nancy Drew series. I'm your host, Chris and Little Bumble Bear, and we are on the 15th game of Nancy Drew now. We are halfway through the series with Nancy Drew, the creature of Kapu Cave, made in 2006. We are going to Hawaii. If you guys enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Let us know if you've been to Hawaii, if you enjoy going to Hawaii, or if this was your first time going to Hawaii with us in Nancy Drew. <laughs> and also subscribe for more Nancy Drew and other Let's Plays that I do, including Twitch stream archives, because I do stream on Twitch. Go follow my channel, Little Bumble Bear, and I got Twitter and Instagram if you want to follow me on those too. Stay connected with me. I am joined, as always, with my amazing co-hosts that you might know from my streams, Vic and Sunny. Hi, you guys. People of YouTube. Ohana means family. <laughs> Are you guys excited for this next Nancy Drew adventure back in the States in Hawaii? Yes. Yes. Me. USA. What are you expecting from a game called The Creature of Kapu Cave? Um, it's probably gonna be a creature in a cave. Probably. Well, thanks, Captain Obvious. Is that all? <laughs> I was gonna say a <laughs> mystical creature, but oh. Okay. That's this is much nice better. It's a mystical, it's a mystical stuff. I mean, it sounds mystical, so I'm gonna go with mystical. Mystical. Ooh, yes, probably so. Well, without further ado, let's get into the game! Anyway, here's my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book title. Yeah, yeah, be quiet. So anyways, if you guys miss the... <laughs> I don't think I've ever told Nancy to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> never! I've never said that to her, and now I'm just like, yeah, yeah, whatever. So if you guys, guys missed... You like up with your lawn if you guys missed the previous game i have a playlist in the description box with all the nancy drew games that we've recorded thus far this was the last case danger by design i highly recommend you go and see it you do not want to miss dieter von schwester kronk are you still drinking lagers with him sonny i still drink lager with him yes okay ah okay wait that's just that's russian not <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, go check it out. It was a lot of fun. But let's take a look at today's case file. Ooh, la, la. Current assignment. Travel to Hawaii and spend three weeks working for Dr. Quigley Kim, an entomologist who needs someone to help her do field work on the big island. One of Dad's friends saw the want ad she ran in his alumni newsletter and thought of me. I won't get paid, naturally, and I'm not exactly sure what someone who studies insects means by field work. Oh, there's the help wanted thing right there. Okay. But I do get a free plane ticket, and I'll be working outdoors in one of the most beautiful places in the world. Hey. Hmm. The only thing that kind of worries me is that instead of meeting me at the airport, Dr. Kim wants me to take a bus to this little town on the southern coast of the Big Island. I'm supposed to pick up the keys to the vehicle she'll leave for me there from someone named Big Island Mike at Big Island Mike's Immersion Excursion Center. Which means I'll have to drive to her field camp, which is deep in the rainforest, by myself. But it's not like I'm going anywhere dangerous. I'll be in a tropical paradise. What could possibly go wrong? Dun dun dun. I really like that someone had to do their lawn while I was reading the whole time. Thank you so much. Uh, one video I showed you where the person just gets up at six in the morning just to blow a leaf blower all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. That's not weird. That's very rational. Yep. Very rational. Oh, 
That was normal. Here's Nancy in Hawaii. Yay. Yay. Oh, look, there I was. Oh, you missed me. Oh, well. Oh, so you're saying you're in Hawaii? Yep. Interesting. So is Nancy Drew. Uh, it's not that far away that? from California. If you're looking for a real deal about Hawaii flowers. vacation, you got off at the right spot. Hey, look, it's the guy from Moana. Oh. So that's the demigod in Maui? Yeah, you can't see. <laughs> he has a ponytail in the back. You don't see it till later. Actually, I'm looking for somebody named Big Island Mike. That's me. You by yourself? Uh, well, um, uh... Well, yes, I am, but... Well, just in case whoever told you about this place didn't give you the lowdown, here it is. You sign up with Big Island Mike, you'll live like a real Hawaiian. Work like they work, play like they play. No tourist stuff. From me, you get authentic. Well, that sounds good, but... See, I'm like a tailor. Only I don't make clothes, I make vacations. Real, honest-to-goodness Hawaiian vacations. Custom-made to fit just you and you alone. You like the beach? I'll get you to the beach, but I'll also keep you busy. Busy doing things real Hawaiians have done for a thousand years. And you'll have a good time doing it, I'll make sure. In fact, I've got a couple of guys staying here about your age. They're from the mainland, too. I got those boys surfing, shelling, fishing, snorkeling, everything. You sign up, you'll do everything too. Ooh, there's Maybe a couple of cute boys. Same time as them, huh? Ooh, what do you think, guys? What do you think? Should we meet some cute boys? Um, uh, I think you should, you know, do your job. Why not? I mean, you know, just have fun and stuff. Yeah. Hawaii. Like you're supposed Hawaii. to be meeting someone. I don't see Ned anywhere. Is Ned even calling me anymore? Oh. Oh, really? So that's how it is. <laughs> Ned hasn't called me or written me at all. Sounds interesting, but I'm just I'm here to pick up some meet these boys. Oh, you're the wahine who's going to be working up there in the rainforest with Dr. Yeah, Kim studying wahine. bugs. You're going to have to pick them up and put them in jars and stuff. I don't think Dr. Kim uh, will make me do I mean, anything I, I too can decipher gross. that language. Do you? Better to be working for Dr. Kim than up at the Healy Healy. That doctor there, he makes people mess with stuff way worse than bugs. What's the Healy Healy? The Healy Healy Research Center. Everything up there's a big mystery. People who work at Healy Healy, they never stay long. And when they leave, they don't talk. Indeed, work that way. Be that as it may, I'm supposed to get a key from you? Dr. Kim arranged for you to use one of my rigs. Got the key right here, but you know what? I'm not gonna give it to you. Bro. Why not? A big island Mike immersion excursion beats chasing bugs around the jungle any day. And to prove it, I'm not going to give you the key until you go to the beach, collect some shells, and make a necklace for me. Dude. You really? can put the shells you find in here. Dude. Make me an aloha necklace. There's a picture of it over at the necklace making table. Thanks. But I, I really think I should go meet Dr. Kim like I'm supposed to. You make the necklace, I give you the key. Only you know what? You're not going to want it anymore. You're going to walk on the beach, look for shells, sit and string them. You're going to get so you know, relaxed. You're going to come back in running. here and say, you were right, Big Island Mike. Forget the bug doctor. Sign me up. You'll see. This guy is running a scam. Do you, do you see his ponytail? Hold on. No. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, I see it. Oh. This guy is running like a scam. Some kind of special money for this. I barely have any real money. <laughs> Same as Paris. Yeah. I don't got no money. Cute song though. What were you saying, Sunny? No, I'm just saying this guy is running one big scam. Newspaper time! Sudden and unexplained die-off has growers mystified. An unidentified pest is causing severe damage to local pineapple crops. According to, spokes according to a spokesperson at the University Extension Service, growers from all around the Big Island, but especially in the Hilly Hilly River Valley, have reported that pineapple plants in all stages of maturation were simply wilting and dying despite the absence of any readily observable pests. The phenomenon was first reported less than two weeks ago. The spokesperson said that the extension service is moving as quickly as possible to collect, process, and analyze samples 
from infected plants in hopes of pinpointing the cause. We could be dealing with a brand, with a brand new virus, the spokesperson said. But it's more likely more but it's more likely that an insect, albeit a semi-microscopic one, is the culprit. Although growing pineapples for export is no longer economically feasible due to the ever escalating value of land throughout the Hawaiian Islands, local demand for pineapples is stronger than ever. But unless the mysterious pest is currently and unless the mysterious pest currently affecting, affecting their fields is identified and brought under control soon, growers fear that this season's pineapple crop will be a total loss. False alarm threatens Hilly Hilly's secrecy. Okay. Thank you. Oh, wait. Yep. There's more. There's more. Police response to possible break-in is stymied. Early, early Tuesday morning, police units dispatched at the Hilly Hilly Research Center in response to an automatic alarm were refused entry by guards at its main entrance. After checking the guards' identification, police officers left without entering the compound. Late Tuesday morning, a spokesperson for the Hilly Hilly issued a statement confirming that at 2.19 a.m., an alarm signaling a security breach at the center had been triggered. Hilly Hilly personnel quickly searched the premises but found no sign of burglary or vandalism. They later determined that it that a short in the security system had resulted in a false alarm. Director of the center, Dr. Malachi Craven, refused to comment on the on the incident. The state of the art facility built Craven. seven years ago on, a, on land donated to the Hilly Hilly Foundation and is licensed to conduct privately is, is licensed to conduct privately funded horticulture and biochemical research. It is not required to disclose the precise nature of its research. And access to the facility is extremely limited. According to the police, by Tuesday evening, the relay have ha, the relay between Police headquarters and a Hilly Hilly security system had been disconnected. Okay. What's up? His name is uh, Craven, I believe. Did Malachi. I say that? Malachi Craven? You said Craven. Oh. Whoops. It's oh. okay. If you're, if you're British, uh, Dr. Craven. No, I don't know. Dr. Craven? We are going to make shaved ice later. Mmm. Oh, what, so that you can afford to eat or something? Yeah. Because this guy's gonna, like, enslave you. Oh, look, I got a phone! Hey. Frank and Joe and my boyfriend. But he's not even gonna be there. Wow. Is he even you gonna pick up? You don't know. See? This is our relationship. Is <laughs> <laughs> this is it. This is why I'm gonna go meet some cute boys. Uh-huh. Don't you judge me. I'm sure that you're gonna Your end up calling him a Joe something. Hardy and or Frank Hardy. Only we're not available. At the tone, please leave a message. Hi guys, it's Nancy. I'll just call you back later. Bye. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna go find some cute boys on the beach. So, <laughs> bye! You mean you're gonna go collect shells so you can get the card and your job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Told me to make an Aloha necklace. Ah! Here we go. Okay. So what shells do I need? All right, so I need some big ones and some little ones. I'm gonna get all the same size and that's just how the picture looks. And one of these, okay. Let's go get them. Ooh, Ooh. stuff you can buy. Wow, it's like everywhere else. Time to meet some boys. A little surfer shack. Too bad it's closed. Whoever runs it is probably off surfing. You guys ready? Degenerate. I'm ready for some boys. <laughs> Hello? So did you arrive okay? Uh, Ned, hi. I hope there's the boy. Timing. I just hi, got Ned. Here. Did she tell you I was a on the beach. The bug doctor's <laughs> yeah, on the beach? That's my boyfriend. No, I have to collect shells and make a necklace before I can get the keys she's left for me. It's a long story. Well, I wish I could be there with you. Believe me, it's done nothing but rain non-stop since I dropped you off at the airport. The sky's just this constant... Oh, he dropped me off at the airport. <laughs> even with you here. Okay, we're together. We're Never mind. Oh my gosh, oh. you're not going to believe this, but Frank and Joe Hardy are here. What? Are, are you sure? Positive. Hate listen. See? I'll call you later, okay? I wasn't going to cheat on him. I was going to see Frank uh -huh. and Joe. What are you doing here? Uh -huh. I knew it was I just them. got here. Uh -huh. I'm going to be helping this entomologist uh -huh. dad heard about. Do they, don't they the look just the same as the guys what are on the you train? Guys doing here? We got here yesterday. You know, wonder God. why. We're on assignment. Joe, keep because it Because of the same people. Richard Aikens, the CEO of Aikens Biotech? 
Yep. He hired us to do kind of a background check on Pua Mapu and her father, Mike Mapu. She's an up-and-coming <laughs> world-class surfer. He runs a local see? business called Big Island Mike's I wasn't cheating on Ned. No, I was kidding. just gonna go see I'm my friends. I'm supposed to pick up a car at Big Island Mike's. <laughs> what does this Aikens guy need a background check for? He's thinking about using Pua in the ad campaign for one of his products. He wants to make sure there aren't any skeletons in either of the Mapu's closets before he makes her an offer. Since she teaches surfing for her dad, we signed up for one of his immersion excursions so we could get oh, to know her and make sure Mike. she's as squeaky clean as she seems. Akins figured someone who was closer to her own age could find out a lot okay. more than some private investigator. So you were basically hired to vacation in Hawaii and learn how to surf. Is that what you're saying? Don't worry. As soon as the opportunity presents itself, we'll be doing some hardcore snooping, too. Yeah. Akins wants us to make sure Mapu's business is also squeaky clean. But the guy never leaves his office, which so far has made rummaging through his paperwork impossible. So you're doing field work for an entomologist? Yep. Just me and Dr. Kim and a couple thousand of her closest insect-type friends out there in the jungle. Well, watch out for Kane Okala. Aw, Joe. Watch out for who? Kane Okala. That's Hawaiian for rough-skinned man. He's this legendary guy who got half burned up in a volcano a millennium or two ago, and now whenever something really bad happens on the island, people start saying they've seen him in the jungle. He doesn't like people messing with his island, see? So he goes on these rampages. Apparently, his temper is as nasty as his complexion. And there have been a lot of sightings lately, probably because of the pineapples. What's wrong with the pineapples? The pineapples have been growing so poorly on this part of the island the people say there may not even be a local crop this year, but nobody can say why. Although I'm willing to bet this Kane Okala guy could. Joe... If he really existed, which of course he does not. Happy, Frank? Well, I better get going. Good luck, you guys. I have my cell phone, so keep in touch. You too. In fact, if there's anything you need out there... Food, toiletries, monster repellent... Call us anytime, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye. See you, Nance. Toiletries? I would love a toilet tree. How do you plant those? Seriously, how do you how do you plant a toilet tree? Oh, um, you gotta find some <laughs> some dirt. Then you gotta apply like this very specific kind of water to it. Mm -hmm. And it'll just you know eventually grow, and you'll get. You know, nice uh, toilet paper plants. Exactly. Because <laughs> Frank and Joe were just saying, if you need anything, food, toiletries. I was like, I would love a toilet tree. How do you plant one? <laughs> I want to start a toilet tree garden. I'm collecting lots of shells. I have no idea if I even have enough. What do I... Six and six? Oh, I might have enough. I have no clue. Maybe not. I have to keep picking them up. So, there's going to be a lot of... This. Does this kind of remind you of... Um... Oh, what am I At a wrench? No, 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 no. The crabs. Oh, yeah. The clams, the clams. Oh. Uh, Danger on Deception Island. There you go. Yeah, the, that it makes me think of that work because you literally just go around the beach doing this all day. It's really great. Yeah. I'm gonna go see if we have enough yet. Let's go look at the picture. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah, I think I should have enough. Give this to Mr. Mapu and be on my way. 
Hopefully you'll be on your way. Yeah, Mr. Mopo. What's Yannick do next? Mr. Mopo. You finished the necklace. If you could give the extra shells I collected to those two guys from the mainland, that'd be great. May I keep the necklace I made? Sorry. My idea? My necklace. But the rig key is yours. Thank you. Hey! One more thing. Kane Okala. Oh. That rough skin guy? What about him? It's the people at Healy Healy. They're doing something that Kane Okala doesn't like. That's why he's back. The people that say he's just a legend don't believe them. I'll remember that, really. Hope I don't regret this. The rig's out front. Got a GPS system and everything. The location of Dr. Kim's camp's already programmed in. Have we got to do something special for the gas? <laughs> I heard that something weird seems to be going on with the pineapple crop this year. What have you heard about it? It's the Healy Healy. Whatever they're doing up there, it's gonna end up ruining the pineapple fields. The newspapers know the truth. They're just too afraid of the Healy Healy lawyers to write the truth. Well, it was nice meeting you. Mahalo. Okay, we can go driving. Some fancy GPS there. Rollmeister navigate navigating technology. Isn't Krollmeister from something previously in the game? Yes, Krollmeister. Oh my goodness. I think it's a company that's appeared more than once in the nails. Oh, oh, Krollmeister Nails. Oh, yeah, that's right. The one that gave you tetanus. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah, yeah. From the clock game. Mm -hmm. So they make um, GPSs. That's cool. Nice. You branched out. I'm going to still do nails. Camp quickly. But we're ready. Stop in a ditch. Great. Well, hopefully, Dr. Kim will be able to help me get it out. Uh oh, sounds like I missed a call. You have reached Nancy Drew, who is currently unavailable. At the tone, please leave a message. Hi, Nance, it's Joe. Listen, Big Island Mike heard on the radio that the bridge on the road leading to that bug lady's camp just washed out. So I hope you get this message before you get to her place, because if you've already crossed the bridge, it sounds like you won't be able to get back into town for a couple of days. In any case, be careful, and again, if there's anything Frank or I can do, just holler. Take care. So, on top of being stuck in a ditch, I'm stranded in the jungle. Well, at least I'm not alone. I mean, I won't be when I find Dr. Kim. Oh my gosh, this place is a mess. What happened? And where's Dr. Kim? Uh... A winch. I need to bring that back down, actually. Wasn't there like a solar panel or something attached to it? Yeah, yeah, this thing. I don't have any pieces to fix it, though. So that's great. I need to find a hook for the winch. A tape recorder. There's a tape in it. Looks like it needs to be rewound. Ooh, let's listen to it. I'm Dr. Quigley Kim, and this is an oral record of my activities on the Big Island. Her Beginning voice is lovely today, for the rest of the game. <laughs> Hopefully I'll remember to use this thing every day, but I much prefer writing things down. And frankly, I don't care much for hearing myself on tape. It makes me sound very nasal so for some strange reason. Of course, this whole recording thing was my father's idea. I mean, just because he always kept an oral journal when he was in the field, he automatically assumed I'd want to, too. So he practically forced me to... Oh, there I go again. Well, at least with this thing. When I start digressing, I can just push this button and... All right. 
Already, I'm forgetting to use this thing. Okay, now it's March 15th. My camp's all set up and my equipment's all ready to go. So tomorrow, I'm gonna start rigging frass traps. I probably should have started doing that today, but I spent the whole morning observing a colony of feral bees. Man, I hope somebody answers the ad my mentor placed in that newsletter. If she could get me an assistant, I could spend the whole day observing whatever insect I want. Wow, that's the life. Oh, that'd be cool or what? March 19th. This has never happened to me before, ever. But when I was out checking traps in the jungle today, I got the weirdest feeling that I was being watched. I mean, it was broad daylight, and I didn't see anybody or hear anything, but I just suddenly got this creepy feeling that I wasn't alone. Then, after about three minutes, it went away. I, you know, it was just weird. Well, I think it's that the March audio journal is supposed to be like two days now, I've about your findings. Mm -hmm. Humming sound coming from way deep in the jungle. Okay, to be honest, it sounds more like whispering. One minute it's there, next minute it's gone. And I have no idea what's causing it. I don't even have a theory as to what's causing it. I hate that. It's March 28th. Great news. Actually, lots oh, of great news. I need to take pictures. I just got done with my initial frass jar content analysis, and it looks like something really strange is going on with the Norsa Beta Odorata larvae around here. Once I run these numbers through my formula machine, which I'm retrieving from my trunk, even as I speak, Isn't once that great? I run these numbers, I'll know for sure. And I'm getting an assistant. <laughs> Somebody named Nancy Drew has agreed to fly out here for a couple of weeks and work for me. Which means I'm on the verge of fame, fortune, and free labor. Woohoo! Is life good or what? And then, this is just the uh, attack on the camp. Tape ran out. What was that? Very clear, that guy. I sure hope Dr. Kim is okay. Okay. Can't check that. Still need done. Can't check that off yet. Um, okay. Let's see if I can open up this chest. So I saw the little little thing, the tape. Hey. Oh, so no, that's Kai Herbert thing. Craven. <laughs> you should maintain the IQ. Two maintains blog. What? Are these notes she made least about likely, Craven? Least likely to ever play well with others. <laughs> wow. Uh, that guy's not popular. Uh, solar power. Is it at least 50% solar power works at Huey Huey Research Center, but current employer unknown? Interesting. Quit calling. Hopelessly deluded morons. Wrote article. How pure jealousy is destroying research. Area code 312. Chicago, maybe? Hmm, 312-555-9624. LifeWorks Biochem? Dr. Kim, you're finally calling? Uh, yes, I am finally calling. What's wrong with your nose? You sound so normal. <laughs> oh, well, I've been taking antihistamines. How did you get this number? Well, you see, I... Hello? Hello? Well, it's not like we're really meant to know what that is, I think. Right. So, that number, we don't understand why we have it. But we do. Okay, what else do we have in this trunk? A security pass for the Healy Healy Research Center. Maybe someone there knows where Dr. Kim is. Take that, and I'll take this. 
Ooh. All right. I'm gonna say. So the thing is, I need to. I need to fix those solar panels. I can't go anywhere until I get this thing out of the ditch. But I need to fix this. A winch. So put that. There's a winch. And attach it to this. But I still can't even. Oh, yes, I can. There we go. Who needs that dark machine? There. It's out of the ditch. All right, now we can drive. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go to the Healy Healy Research Center and visit this Dr. Craven that has an IQ and not good at socializing with people or something. Hi, listen, I found this pass, and I wondered if... I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to put your hands up. Put my hands up? Who are you? Where did you uh, get that pass? Okay. Uh, which question would you like me to answer first? That pass was not issued to you. Now where did you get it? I think maybe I'd like to answer the other question. All right then, who are you? My name is Nancy Drew. I'm Dr. Kim's temporary research assistant. Today's my first day. Are you... I'm Malachi Craven, of course. I'm the head of this facility. Now explain yourself. I have that pass because when I arrived, Dr. Kim's base camp was all torn up and I couldn't find her anywhere. So I went searching through her stuff for something that might tell me where she is. I thought that since she had that pass, someone here could tell me where she is. Well, you thought wrong. And for your information, that pass was reported missing. She probably stole it weeks ago. You think Dr. Kim stole it? Oh, use your brain! This is a private research facility with highly restricted access. Of course she stole it. All right, that's enough. Excuse me? You're jumping all over me when the only thing I did to you was tell you the truth. I know who you are, Dr. Craven. I know you're an incredibly gifted scientist whose work has never been fully appreciated. In fact, as an amateur horticulturist, I would give anything to know what you're doing with the plants in here. But being a genius does not give you the right to be rude. Oh, I'm sorry, young lady. Everything you just said is quite correct. The genius part rings particularly Eesh. true. <laughs> How do you know about me? So what do you think of him? He's, uh, he seems something. like a uh, a word I would not use on on a family friendly stream. Okay. Internet mostly. Your blog is awesome. Uh, that's true too. If you're interested in horticulture, why are you assisting an entomologist? Well, bugs and plants do kind of go hand in hand, and when I heard there was a free round trip ticket to Hawaii involved. Smart girl. What makes you think Dr. Kim stole that security pass? I, uh, that was just my temper talking. I obviously have no reason to suspect the good doctor of any criminal activity whatsoever. Have you ever met Dr. Kim? Possibly. I don't honestly remember. From what I've read about her research, I have no real desire to meet her, quite frankly. Any chance you could give me a tour of this place? None whatsoever. This is a private facility. I'm under no obligation to put my work on display or explain what I'm doing to anyone, except my employer, of course. Who's that? He'd rather I not say. Look here, Nancy. You're obviously familiar with me and my previous accomplishments, so I know how exciting all this must be for you, but I'm simply not at liberty to discuss my current project, though it is truly spectacular. Sorry. I still need to find Dr. Kim, so I'd better go. Marvelous idea. 
All right. Well, he was a joy. To my surprise, oh. I find that I actually don't mind talking to you. You oh. see, I have a niece back in Philadelphia who's just about your age. Nice girl. Spunky. Insisted on majoring in English or sociology or some such <laughs> drivel, but a very bright girl nonetheless. Unfortunately, her father, my brother, and I don't get along, so I... I don't get to I can't imagine why. Anyway, what can I do for you? I still need to find Dr. Kim, so I'd better go. By all means, farewell! That's weird. I thought for some reason I had to see him to fix the... I'd love to see what's in that pocket, but if Dr. Craven caught me snooping in his things... Whoa. I don't know. I thought I could find... Hmm. Check. D done. Haven't done that yet. Done. Can't check that off yet. Okay, maybe I need to still go back to the camp. I thought I could find some pieces to help with the um, solar panel, because I couldn't. And I can't just go looking around in lockers where I don't have combinations. Hey, put on a suit if you're gonna come out here. Oh, okay. Oops. Sorry. Um, I'll go back to the camp and look around. Yeah, this is the Healy Healy Research Center, so you guys got to see it. Check around the camp a little more thoroughly. Maybe I missed something. Okay. A solar panel. Looks like this is what powers the radio. Hmm, some of the photovoltaic cells are missing. Oh! Can't check. There we go. See? Okay, the game had to register. I think now I could go ask Dr. Craven. I had to have Nancy look at it. It seems to like solar, so. Exactly. That's why I think he's our guy that we need to go ask. State your business, please. Hi, I'd like to see Dr. Craven. Dr. Craven isn't seeing anybody right now, so just back your car up, turn around, and leave. No, no, Dr. Craven will see me. Really, just call him, please. <sighs> Dr. Craven? What? The young lady who... Dr. Craven, it's me, Nancy Drew. I know you're busy, but I really enjoyed talking to you before. Could I come in, just for a few minutes? Let her in. What is it now? I'm in desperate need of some photovoltaic cells so I can repair a solar panel back at camp. And I know you're a big proponent of solar energy, so could you by any chance spare me, say, nine cells? Tell you what, I'll give you all the cells you need after you harvest at least a dozen seeds from those plants down there. They represent an extremely promising cultivar that I've hybridized. Unfortunately, I've developed some kind of allergy to them, so that just being in the same room with them has me scratching like a dog at a flea circus. My getting seeds from them is out of the question. But since you're here, you can do it. Just pick a few pods, pop them open, and put only viable seeds into the container. To know what I mean by viable, just read the notes that I left down there. Okay. No problem. Good. Bring me 12 viable seeds, and those cells are yours. A little intense. This man? Yeah. Yeah. Not a professor who was really intense. Like like him? Not quite like him. Not quite. Okay. This makes me think of Shadow Ranch. Do you guys remember Shadow Ranch? When we had to go yeah. get Shorty? The uh, produce from the. You mean the criminal? Yeah, the criminal. Well, now the viewers know. There. They should watch it by now. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys didn't watch their Shadow fault. Ranch, go go watch it now. It's their fault if they haven't watched it by now. See how the tubby cook ruined everything. <laughs> Finished. Like I said, no problem. 
Very good. These will do just fine. And so, as I promised, instruct Olsen to put a box of A3 photovoltaic cells into Miss Drew's vehicle as soon as possible. Right away, Dr. Craven. Unfortunately, even after I've destroyed those little green devils, I'm told it'll be some time before this itching stops. Isn't there something you could take for it? I was prescribed an antihistamine, but I'm afraid taking it will make me too sleepy to get any work done. Wow, you need to give that to Dr. Kim. She needs it more than you. I still uh -huh. need to find Dr. Kim, so I'd better go. By all means, farewell. Dr. Kim sounds like this the whole entire game, you know? And she's just she the sounds like this all the time. Yeah. All the time. Oh my goodness. All the time. She thinks it's just over the phone. I know. To this day, she is still one of the weirdest characters I've ever met in an anti game. Is it because she's nasally or because she likes bugs? Both. <laughs> Where these bugs are cool, Chris. Must have right. something to do with the numbers on them. Okay, I love this. But this what? is this is Sudoku. Ah, Sudoku. You I love Sudoku. So since there's a one, we don't put the one here. Uh, this panel is a one. This panel is a one. So the one goes somewhere over here. Um. Okay. Whoa, wait, 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 but there's a one here. The rules might be a little bit different, actually. I'm not 100%. It may not be like make sure they're not in the same row, but just make sure that each panel has a diff uh, all the numbers it needs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this needs a nine. So it needs a one and a nine. Okay. You see, this is actually how it actually works. Like, make sure your photovoltaic cells are, uh, you know, conforming to the Sudoku rules. Yeah. Yeah. Truth. Truth. Truth, bro. Truth, bro. Truth. Two. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we need an eight. There we go. Um, this needs a four. Okay. Five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There, it's working. There we go. Now we're just going to lift this in the air. Oh, that's oh boy. <laughs> Did I, yeah, I was gonna, oh, wait. Sent you hooked that up first? Yeah, I, I I couldn't find it. It was probably right in front of my face. Where's the wench? There it is. Okay. Now we got solar power. Now we can probably go talk to Doctor quickly. I still need to call Ned back. Still need to do that. Cause you know. Haven't done that yet. He is my boyfriend. Check. For now. Did that. Did. Check. For now. And yeah, maybe not always. Who knows? Okay. Eighteen three oh five. Power. That helps. Yeah. Nancy Drew calling Dr. Quigley Kim. Dr. Kim, are you there? Mrs. Quigley Kim, Nancy, that you? Yes, I've been worried about you. I have a home. <laughs> I've been worried about you. Your camp is a mess. Someone ransacked it. Well, as you are a cop. Oh my god, <laughs> she can't hear me. Where exactly are you? Inaudible. Oof. Could you please repeat that? Oh, and be sure to bring my... 
Dr. Kim, I can barely hear you. Could you repeat those coordinates, please? I rarely get to you. No, wait. I still don't know where you are. Dr. Say? Kim. Nancy Drew, calling Dr. Quigley Kim. Come in, please. Oh, great. All I heard was green trigger rock or something. How am I supposed to figure out where that is? Ugh. Terrible. It reminds me of that, that part in Halo Comet Evolved when that Crash Pelican is talking about how they encounter the flood and uh, it's all broken up and stuff. Sorry, I gotta talk to my boyfriend. Can you just hold that thought? Ugh. Ugh. Hi, Ned. Sorry I hung up on you like that before. Believe it or not, that not. was the Hardy Boys I saw. They're here too. No kidding. Doing what? I probably shouldn't say. I take it it doesn't involve bugs. <laughs> Not hardly. So what are you up to? I went looking for Dr. Uh, Kim at this private oh, research dude. facility and found are a mad scientist named Sunny? Dr. Malachi Craven instead. <laughs> are you going to tell me to him? No. Is he Maybe. a bug guy too? <laughs> he's Unless you do something for him. Biochemist, <laughs> but mostly oh, wow. he's a grouch. What's he working on? Don't know. It's top secret. Why were you looking for Dr. Kim there? For some reason, she had a security pass to the place. Dr. Craven said she'd stolen it. Why would she do that? When I find her, that's one of the first things I'm going to ask her. Rumor has it that the Healy Healy, that's the name of Craven's research facility, rumor has it that whatever he's doing up there is destroying the local pineapple crop. Yikes. How would you feel about giving me a hint or two? I think that could be arranged. I don't well, need a hint. back to the bugs. Stay in touch. You got that? I yes, barely sir. needed hints the last it. couple games cuz I just know what I got to do. Hello? Hi Joe, it's Nancy. Hey Nancy, what's going on? Well, Guess after I what? finally got Big Island Mike to give me the keys to the car Dr. Kim you know what? for me, I started driving. What? We Whoa. get to so be what did there. What Dr. Kim say when you told her somebody Whoa. or something had torn up her camp? Noise. Frankly, I'm not sure she heard me. The radio connection we had was really bad. Yeah, In fact, we actually she shared it between us. Like it's just she nasty journey. So nope. GPS, and our, our phone is cooler. But all I north 19 degrees 20 something. And the chat box changed to wood. I think she said she was at Green Trigger Rock, but I could this be is, wrong about uh, that. This is now Joe Hardy. I don't suppose you'd happen to have a map of the island, would you? Yeah. No, but I'll keep my eyes open. Maybe I'll even ask Big Island Mike. I'm still waiting for a chance to do some snooping around his desk. Well, if you find out anything, give me a call. Remember, what Dr. Kim said sounded like Green Trigger Rock. Green Trigger Rock. Will do. Are you going to be able to get back here with the bridge washed out like that? No, but I'll be okay. That bridge is the least of my worries. I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye. So yeah, I didn't tell you guys the surprise. You actually get to share this mystery between Nancy and the Hardy Boys the whole game. Shouldn't, shouldn't this game be called Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys in? Well, they, they no didn't want to give it away. They wanted it to be a surprise. No recognition. Think you could explain this try it and trade it system of yours again? Real simple. Over at the necklace making table, there's pictures of the different necklaces you can make out of shells, okay? You collect shells, you make something, you turn it in, you get whatever the picture says it's worth, in Big Island Box. You get enough Big Sounds Island Box like to buy scam. some fishing gear and bait. You go fishing, you catch something, you turn it in, you get paid what it's worth. The better Sounds the bait like... you buy, the bigger the fish uh, you catch, and the more so Big legal. Island Box you get. The more Big Island Box uh, you get, so the more stuff you can <laughs> so win. You see, a never-ending circle That's illegal. Everybody wins. This is like it's this is so like a totally sounds like a pyramid so scheme. Everything we trade in. This is this is the, the factory script in, the thing that they did back in like the 1800s in the, the factory towns. You find this is illegal. Whenever you're ready to turn something in, necklace, fish, whatever, go see Poor, not me. She's in charge of doling out the Big Island box. Are you familiar with a place in the jungle around here called Green Trigger Rock or something like that? Never heard of it, and I know this island better than anybody. So if I haven't heard of it, trust me, there's no such place. You're always in here working. Don't you ever get to get out and enjoy paradise yourself? Well, if somebody'd catch me six Ulua, I'd have an excuse to drive him into the market in Hilo and on the way back do a little body surfing at this great little beach I know. I'm game. What are Ulua? Big shorefish, real good eating. Just so happens I got their favorite food right here. 
Well, get ready to take a little time off, big guy, because I am on it. I can't even see his Does he face. say anything? Hey, what's up? How long have you been in this business? Five years, give or take. Pua's idea. Uh, she saw this whole extreme so vacation thing coming. I thought she was Papule, but turns out she was right. We've been making money since day one. Yeah, My yeah. daughter is one smart mm -hmm. woman. That's great. You sure nah. keep her busy. Keeping her busy keeps her out of trouble. Surfing keeps her out of trouble, too. She's head over heels in love with it. And look at her. She's a champ. Future's as bright as they come. Cool. Turned into your basic all-around good kid, huh? With Pua, what you see is what you get. Just wants to surf. And be the best in the world while she's at it. Well, hang in there. Have fun. Alrighty. I have no money. It's cool. Oh. Whoa, earthquake! Whoa. Vic, do you remember those? Want something else? Well, hang in there. Didn't happen have that fun. often. Okay, good. We just got you should remember. I you should, should remember save. those. Earthquake could break the game, you never know. Yeah, who knows? It might take too much RAM. By the way, we get to meet Wish Pua. Case. Do you want to meet Pua? Sure. Sure. Who names their kid Pua? Is it Winnie? The Pua? Hmm. Hey, Joe. Ready for another lesson? Still recovering Hi from there, the last scam artist. <laughs> you did swallow a lot of water out there. I feel like I can see muscles through her shirt somehow. I don't know. <laughs> like, is that a six pack she's got? I don't get it. Ah, uh, it's more like a one pack. It's so, coming. It's developing. It's, it's listen, developing. How about we keep that our little secret, okay? Hey, look, flailing around like a drowning puppy your first time out or two is nothing to be ashamed of. Happens to everybody. Even you? Well, no. I didn't almost drown until the first time I tried shooting the curl on the pipeline. But then, I'm not like everybody. I'm ten times better. <laughs> but hey, you're doing great. So is your brother. In fact, he hasn't come off his board once. Of course, that might change when he actually stands up on it. Frank hasn't <laughs> stood up yet? Oops, I probably shouldn't have said that. Look, how about we change the subject? You feel the earthquake? Yeah, wasn't that great? Oh, that was amazing. I just felt so alive. Sure, it was a blast, if you don't count the sheer terror part. I love earthquakes. It's like standing up on a big, huge roller coaster. You should love, like, the the, the 9.0 skills then that cause, you know, bridges to collapse. You're not concerned about the damage they do? What good does being concerned do? Look, until somebody figures out a way to stop earthquakes, they're gonna happen. So I say, why not enjoy them? Are Frank and I your only pupils right now? Pretty much. You guys are the only excursions Dad's got going this week. I coach some local kids, but they've got finals. How's your dad doing? You know, business-wise. Okay, I guess. I, I mean, we don't live in a mansion or anything, but we got food, we got clothes, Dad gets to show off his island, and I get to surf. Far as I'm concerned, we got everything we need. How come I've never heard you say anything about your mom? She died when I was 10. Aww. Oh, shoot, I'm sorry. That's okay, you didn't know. Besides, Dad wanted to keep me busy, so he taught me how to surf, something my mom was always dead set against. He also quit working for the pineapple company and went into business for himself. She wouldn't have liked that either. So, everything kind of turned out for the best. What do you think about all this Kane Okala stuff? I'd rather not say. You'd laugh. So you believe he's real? Look, first the Healy Healy Center closes its doors to visitors and gets real secretive about what it's doing up there. Then something goes wrong with the pineapple crop. Coincidence? I don't think so. I mean, Kani Okala has shown up before when somebody endangered the islands. Why shouldn't I believe that he's back? He showed up before? When? My dad said that after the attack on Pearl Harbor in 1941, people saw Kane Okala all over the place, including my grandfather. You gonna call my grandfather a liar? I'm saying that sometimes people, especially superstitious people, sometimes they see what they want to see. Well, I'm not the least bit superstitious, and I swear to you, I have seen Kane Okala. 
Now, Amscray, I gotta work. All right. Well, we need to start earning our money for the pyramid scheme. Yep. I wouldn't call this a pyramid scheme. This is more like a. Uh, Actually, I don't even know what I'm supposed to buy. Indentured servitude. Let me go to the table and look at. Okay. So we have the different necklaces. And, uh. Bait. I don't have money. And some kind of. Okay. The thing is, I'm, I'm not sure when he leaves his office, if he ever does. It sounds like he leaves the office whenever you can catch that fish you're talking This will cost you a big island butt, pal. Whoa, who did the voice acting for this? Please insert a big island book. Hey, this will cost so you a big island butt, Hey, this will cost you a big island butt, pal. This will cost you a big island butt, pal. I may just have to give this a try or two. I think that'd be fun. I'll have to play that. Joe, what are you doing here? You should be out there surfing. Pua says you're a natural. She does? Oh, come on. She probably says that about all her students. No, she doesn't. In fact, I can't repeat what she says about some of them. So, how'd you Oof. like that earthquake? Frankly, it was kind of scary. Got my heart going, that's for sure. Pele must be mad about something. He keeps talking about mad gods. Hey, Hawaiian goddess of fire. Her home is in Kilauea Volcano. When she's mad, she makes the ground shake. When she's really mad, she sends lava down the mountain to gobble up her enemies. Who are her enemies? People who do bad things to her island. Or fail to show her the proper respect. Or people she just plain doesn't like. Who knows? Compared to Pele, Kane Okala is a noisy little fly. He's nothing. But enough about Pele. Go, get outside. You're in paradise. Enjoy. Well, hang in there. Have fun. Okie dokie. Back out Did we I go. Did I educate the viewers yet? Huh? Did I educate the viewers yet? Sure. You I, I know what some, I know what some of this stuff means. Sure. Oh, okay. Wahini, uh, Wahini means woman. Okay. And Pele means volcano god. Oh. Tell them, yes, Vic. Vic grew up in, well, he grew up in Hawaii for quite a while, right? About 20 years. 20 years. So, Vic knows a lot about Hawaii, so he is more than welcome to share any factoids he has with us. What do I have so far? Yeah, this is what I do. I walk around looking for shells every day. Yep, this is what I would want to do on a Hawaiian vacation. <laughs> yeah. This is exactly what I do. Yeah, that's what I want to go, you know, go to nice places and check out the land. Everything else. I would just go and work for this guy. Zippies! You get bait from Zippies, Kristen. Yep, Zippies is the zippiest. Zippiest bait and the zippiest fish. It's so fun. One Ulua down, five to go. Yeah. Keep on fishing. I'm gonna save my game. Keep on fishing. In the later Nancy Drew games, it does auto save more, which is very nice. Good. Yeah. 
Isn't this relaxing? Oops. Isn't this relaxing? Yeah. Your dog will fish and measure last time. Big Mike, and he's not even gonna pay us in real money. Nope, that's why it's legal. You're not allowed to do this kind of thing anymore. You, you can't do factory, t can't do um, company script and factory towns anymore. I don't think you can. I think they legalize that. Because it's it's like you're not getting paid, and so they get all the profit. Yeah, that's that's the. That's how the factory towns and the company script worked. Was this the 1800s, you said? Yeah, they used to do this kind of Hershey, mm -hmm. uh, which is a place where they used to make like uh, Hershey's chocolate. Yeah. I think there actually still is an operating factory there. Yeah, that town used to be a company town. They paid you in company script there. They'd make these gotcha. towns for the employees to live in, mm -hmm. and um, they'd pay in company script, which you use at company stores. Weird. Yeah. Save them, uh, save them a huge amount of money on costs. And why did that eventually fail? It's illegal, I think. Um, but um, a lot of com a lot of people, you know, they still have to end up buying things with real money, but they weren't getting real money, so they'd stay in debt for yeah. years. Yep. Um, in fact, there's some old songs that were written about it. I remember how it, how it went. Hey, what's up? Um, well, better get going. Paradise awaits. Oh, Later. Cool. Sorry, I thought I had to give him um, the fish. Go ahead. I think you need one more. Um, oh, I do? I have five. Did he yeah, need six? Uh, uh, when you grabbed that one, I think he said five more to go, so I think he needs six. Oh, um, okay, okay, okay. I think, but, like, there was a lot of, um, like, worker protests and stuff after <laughs> after a long while because of uh, poor living conditions of their houses and poor working conditions and not getting money. So they eventually stopped. I think they made it. Let me check. Oh, yeah. Payment of wages and script became illegal under the Fair Labor Standards Act of 1938. Okay. Yeah, what they're doing is very much legal. Yeah. Big Island Mike is a weirdo. Like, he could, like, yeah, I, Frank and Joe could get him on this. Yeah. They could have him put away just for this. Oh, yeah. Lua number six. That ought to do it. You were right. All right, now I think I, I think Big Island Mike wanted them. Hey, what's up? There you Those go. fish you wanted me to catch? Well, here they are. What do you think? Hey, you did it. Wasn't sure you were ready for them, but looks like I'm going to have to stock the store with Ulua bait from now on. Tell Pua as soon as I'm done here, I'm driving up to Hilo. Last I saw, she was still trying to teach Frank how to surf. Your brother's a slow learner, huh? Welcome to my world, Mr. Mapu. Have a nice drive. Hey, where's my money? Nope, bro. No money. What? Dude. Where's my company script? Dude, he gave me... He, I didn't get any money. Wow. Oh, well, now's your chance. Ah, alone at last. I'm gonna go look at his desk. What I need is a key. Uh. Probably took. March 5th. 
Delivery from JK exclamation point exclamation point. Wonder who or what JK is. Oh, obviously it says delivery from just kidding. Duh. Just kidding. <laughs> 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 So, if I were Green Trigger Rock, where would I be? Wait a minute. Three Finger Rock. That's what that bug doctor must have said. Three Finger Rock. I'd better call Nancy with these coordinates. Oh. You have reached Nancy Drew, who is currently unavailable. At the tone, please leave a message. I know you can't reach her, but hey, no Nancy, good news. I figured out that Dr. Kim isn't at Green Trigger Rock. She's at Three Finger Rock. The coordinates are north 19 degrees, 24 hours, 42 minutes, by west 155 degrees, 9 hours, 1 minute. Gosh, I'm good. Uh. Hey. Oh. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Hey, Nan. Okay. Good well. news. I figured out that Dr. Kim isn't at well, Green Trigger Rock. She's at Three Finger Rock. The coordinates are north 19 degrees, 24 hours, 42 minutes, by west, 155 degrees, 9 hours, 1 minute. Gosh, I'm good. Okay, well, I have a Thank question. Thank you, Joe. What happened to the other two fingers? You don't want to know. Oh. It's not pretty. Uh. Very well. Okay, I want to type in some stuff. Yeah. Man, I like how we just fly there. Yep. There's the three fingers. There, there, there you go. See? The, the two first ones are missing, including the thumb. Uh, sometimes that happens. Those are the finger. Sometimes that happens. Okay, well, let's look for Dr. Quigley. Oh, what is that That's sound? Normal. I think they're gossiping about us. Dr. Kim, where are you? Where is she? If I don't find her soon, I just... Uh -oh. oh. Hello? Are you Dr. Kim? Those must be her feet. Yes, your timing couldn't be better. Nancy Drew, I presume? Yes. You're Dr. Kim? Please. Just call me Quigley. Hearing someone call me Dr. Kim makes me think of my father. He was a herpetologist. He collected snakes. Whereas I, from a very young age, collected insects. A hobby which he wholeheartedly endorsed. Of course, this was because he was secretly feeding my insects to his snakes. And to this day, I hate snakes. There are no snakes in Hawaii, you know. No native species, at least. Nuts. If you're going to work for me, you cannot let this happen. What? Wh what happened? In case you hadn't noticed, I'm totally off subject here. I have a very bad habit of digressing. So from here on out, it's your job to keep me on task and focused. Understood? Okay. Good. Now, I'm roped into this tree so I can observe a nest of parasitic wasps. I believe it's a nest of Pristomeris hawaiianus. But Hymenoptera aren't really my thing, so I could be wrong. As you know, I'm much more interested in Lepidoptera, the larva of which many wasps prey upon. Specifically, I'm studying Norsa Beta odorata, which, interestingly enough, are carnivores themselves. Now, to my knowledge, the ichneumonid wasps I'm observing do not parasitize the larva of the Norsa Beta, although I... Nancy, I'm digressing here, am I not? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, stop it. Right now. Right. Well... Let's get to work, shall we? Where's the clipboard? What clipboard? I told you to bring my clipboard when we talked on the radio. 
I couldn't hear you. You kept cutting in and out. I don't know, Nancy. You're getting off to a pretty shaky start here. Uh. Really? Really? The sooner Lee? you get my clipboard, the quicker we can get started. Oh, shoot. I forgot to tell her that somebody trashed your camp. Yeah, you did. Well, I guess I have to go all the way back and get her clipboard. Because we're off to a shaky start here. You're off to a shaky start here. So what do you think of Quigley? It ain't just the uh, audio recordings of him. <laughs> 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 well, that's, yeah, that's how, I see what you're, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Okay. Nothing. Could have just picked it up with me on the way, but no. Someone's radio has to suck. Board. Good. Let me have it. The first page is gone. Why'd you tear it off? I, I didn't tear it off. Then where is it? I don't know. Nancy, I asked you to get my clipboard. How could you screw up something as simple as that? I didn't tear that oh. page off. Wh whoever trashed your camp did. Trash my camp? What are you talking about? When I got there, your camp was a mess. It still is. It's like someone came in and just tore the place apart. Oh. Do you have any idea who did it? No. Well, life goes on. That missing page was critical, but fortunately, it was not irreplaceable. I'll just have to collect and analyze all the data again. Or should I say, you'll have to. Oof. Uh... No problem. You'll need to locate all my frass jars and empty each one into a color-coded baggie. Each jar will have baggies hanging nearby. Then return to my base camp, sort the contents, record your counts, run them through my formula, and report back to me. Uh, could you maybe repeat that? It's all on the clipboard. Just do exactly what my notes say and you'll be fine. Don't breathe a word of this to anyone, but I'm on the verge of making a huge discovery here, Nancy. Huge! If the figure you arrive at confirms the one I arrived at yesterday, we are talking major, big-time, worldwide fame. We'll be on Oprah, late-night talk shows. Somebody might even make a movie about this. In fact, I met this producer oh. when I was in L.A. last year. Well, he hasn't produced um. anything yet, but he has this thing about butterflies, so as you can imagine, we hit it off. Quigley! What? You're digressing? Oh, right. Well, just get going. I'll give you the whole scoop after you do that analysis. Fame and fortune await! Woohoo! Wow, that was the one moment she didn't sound easily. Yeah. That, that whole woohoo, that's it. Okay, did you give me the frass baggies? Where, where, where are the frass? Oh, I think I have to collect them as I go. Okay. So, you guys know what frass is? Nope. Okay. No. Well, you'll find out. Okay. You will love it. But you will. Let's just say we're gonna need some toilet trees. Alright. At that you're going there. Well, J 
Gee, where's green and orange? Can't check. Did, did that. Done. Did that. I don't know where to get green and orange. Quigley? Can you tell me where the green and orange ones are? Any chance? So what are your findings? Tell me. Actually, I'm not quite finished doing all that clipboard stuff yet. Then what do you call me down here for? Uh, just to ask you about Did you feel that earthquake? Of course I felt it. It was like an invisible freight train went by. Have you felt earthquakes like that here before? This island has not one, but two active or semi-active volcanoes on it. Kilauea and Mauna Loa. The more magma you got moving around down there, the more earthquakes you're gonna have. I felt dozens since I've been here. Little ones, that is. The last one was relatively big, but nothing to worry about. Have you heard about Kane Okala? <laughs> of course I have. Last time I went into town for my weekly mango shave ice, all people could talk about was how Connie O'Callow was spotted doing this, or he was heard doing that. Maybe he's the one who trashed your camp. Oh, please. I'll get out of your hair now. Excellent. Excellent. Alright, I, I need to figure out where the green and orange... Did you catch... Did she say where the green and orange ones were? No. No. All right. That's purple. Mm. I can imagine a green one being hard to see, but yeah, not the orange one. That's the thing. and identify approximate vegetation we code code in analysis grid on Oh, green and orange. Have to identify the plants that traps are hanging next to? Yikes. Okay, here, let me... Okay. okay, so the others... Okay, let me read... So the, the two aren't here that I'm looking for. That makes so much more sense. It's at the cave. Do I need to input it myself? Yeah, I need to enter the coordinates for a cave. Okay. I wonder what the deal is with this guy. Big What's with all the animals on his teeth? But we can't do anything right now, so we'll come back to this later. Right now, we have to go through some grass. The microscope lens is broken. Oh. How am I gonna do all that frass sorting stuff without a microscope? Hmm. 
Maybe I should go see Dr. Craven again. Oh, well, I guess we should go visit our lovely Uncle Craven. Yay, Uncle Craven. Insufferable. <laughs> <laughs> What is it now? I need a microscope lens to complete this job Dr. Kim gave me. Only hers is broken. Do you have one I could use? Of course, but I'm not running a charity here. If you want it, you'll have to earn it. The plants down below need to be fertilized. Think you could handle that? You bet. Good. Here's the key to the enclosure housing the plants I want fertilized. Don't even think about leaving before you're finished. They need to be fed now. If you make an error, it will be immediately apparent, and needless to say, I will be extremely upset. Got it. Okay. Don't you love him? Yeah. No, no. In a bit of a screwed, but that's. Guy needs like. Ooh, there appears something about that anger. I think that's about as perky as those two flowers are gonna get. Mm -hmm. Let me try again, let me try again. Makes you wonder what those what are. What is it now? Yeah. I fertilize those plants. Good job. The microscope lens is yours. Anything else? I should go. This has been a real honor. Yes, well, the bugs await. Go. Okay, bye bye, sir. Bye bye. bye. Yes? He did what? No, 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 no! Those ceilings were irreplaceable! How could anyone be that stupid? Oh! Tell me his name. Well, you tell Mr. Fighterman that he is fired. If he isn't off the premises in two minutes, I will come out there and throw him over the fence myself. Man, dude, he needs he need some therapy. Has anger issues. Did that sound familiar? Just me. I seen something like the guy in the uh, recording. I just thought his angry noises sounded kind of familiar. I feel like I heard his voice in the recording when he did that. Maybe. Maybe. What I need is a lens. And you shall receive it. Looks like this has a built-in scale. I can use that little built-in scale to weigh the frass. You ready to you ready to do this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's start with uh, red. Uh. Mm, cool. Bug parts. Yep.
did it keep the... Okay, let's do... Let's do blue next. So what do you guys think? Is this fun or what? Oh yeah. Yeah, just what I think when I think of Nasty Drew, I think of bugs. Mm. Yeah. All the bug lovers out there, this game's for you. Important for us to understand bugs, Kristen. You see, they outnumber us like a thousand to one. If we're gonna beat them, we have to understand them. Yes, Sunny, that is that's a deep, thanks. as many. I can't go anywhere. I haven't inserted the clipboard into that formula machine thing yet. Oh, okay. You don't say nasty. Wonder what this thing does. One hundred nineteen thousand four hundred fifty-six. All right. 
Okay. That's the number we have to give quickly. You gotta give that number to a Wiggly quickly. Yeah. Aren't you already at Camp Quickly though? Oh! You said her name. <laughs> and I thought, yeah, Quigley, let's go to Quickly. That's what I'm here for. Yep, could have done without you. Okay, let's Just the agent of chaos. Yep. Oh man, no that's what my mom calls me. Quigley? Yoo-hoo! Quigley! What? I just wondered if you knew what the deal is with all those webs at Kapu K. Don't worry, they were made by North Beta larvae, not arachnids. I mean, spiders. I'm not sure why they like that cave so much. Must have something to do with their food supply. Oh, I was just curious. I'll get back to work. Oh. Um, uh, wait, what? Uh, the number. The number's wrong? Oh, well, no, I, I gotta get a number. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Quigley! Well? I'm all done. Don't tell me, don't tell me. Okay, tell me. Well, the number your formula machine came up with was 119,456. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, it really is true. I've stumbled upon the biggest bloom of Norsa Beta larva ever recorded. We're gonna be famous, Nancy, and with any luck, rich as heck. Way to go. Thank you. I just wish I knew what you were talking about. You just confirmed that for some reason, the Norsa Beta Odorata in this area, maybe on the whole island, are reproducing at an unheard of rate. What are Norsa Beta Odorata? It's a kind of moth. And to have it suddenly be producing ten times more larvae than usual? It's huge! Nothing like this has ever happened before, anywhere. It's as if you woke up one morning and found a thousand baby robins in your front yard. It just doesn't happen. Okay, you've confirmed what is happening. Now we need to figure out why it's happening. You need to analyze the contents of those frass jars. The notes on my clipboard will tell you how to go about it. We need to know what all those Norse beta caterpillars have been eating. Uh, you mean the stuff in those jars is, I mean, came from caterpillars? Of course, they're frass jars. But before you start your analysis, yep. you need to get a sample of whatever it is that Malachi Craven is secretly growing up there at the Healy oh. Healy. Even if it means sneaking in. See if that's what those caterpillars have been eating. Something big's going on here, Nancy. Let's make history and find out what. Oh, this you know why she has a card now. If she did steal it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Still need to Good haven't done that yet. Did that. Done. Did that. Check. Done. Did that. So I have to go spy. Still need to do yep. that. Luckily, done. That's just so talking that. Check. Check. Done. Did that. Alright, I've gotten all this, so I have to go spy on Dr. Craven now. Here we go. Yes. We stream your management. Decided to take that antihistamine after all. Perfect. 
Perfecto. We got some stupid to do. Oh my gosh! This oh. is a page that was torn off by his clipboard, which means the person who trashed your camp must have been Dr. Craven? Told you. Mm. Interesting. I'm saving like crazy because I don't want him to wake right, up. Right, yeah. Because when he wakes up, he, he's got this angry face. In fact, here, I'll show you. I've got to shut this off. Hold on. I'm going to wake him up on purpose so you can hear this. Right? All right. All right. He just, just remember, he has this really grumpy face when okay, he wakes up. let's see. The name of the guy Dr. Craven fired was Spider-Man or something. Here we go. <gasps> you, young lady, would appear to be in very deep trouble. That's <laughs> 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 not funny. You're in very deep trouble. I've got to shut this off. Uh, that's fun. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. okay, let's see. The okay. name of the guy Dr. Craven fired was Spider-Man or something. Okay, we can um mute the iPad. Which is great. This was what, two thousand five? Fighter six number fourteen dash six six seven dash nine. Old school iPad. Okay, fighter man. Here we go. That's what we need. Fighter man. Okay. Hey. So I just have to stay. All just right. like what's going like on at that one place. Fourteen dash six six seven dash nine three, otherwise known as Fighterman, was assigned to Locker thirteen. The combination is R four L two L seven R nine. So just like what that one place is doing, sneaking into this place just to snoop around and for a different scientist is also pretty unethical. <laughs> yeah. But who cares about ethics? I see Jewish spies on people all the time. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's go open up that locker. Yeah. Hmm. If I knew which locker and belonged to that security guy, sucks in this place. I could figure out how to open it. I could wear his yellow jumpsuit outside and snoop to my heart's content. Couldn't you though? Okay. Yep, Nessie, we know how much you like to snoop. So, right for. You turned it the right way. Well, okay, it says right four, so I'd go one, two, three, four, and then left two, and I think I press this, and then left two, so one, two, and then left seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then from there it says right nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That. Are you sure you're turning the correct direction? Hmm. Let's see. Okay. Keep those men in yellow off my back. 
So it wasn't how uh, many 2319. Times... 2319. I'm, I'm going <laughs> to look like a 2319 person in a second here. Hold on. It's going to be great. great. No fact. 2319 literally means white sock. Really? Yeah. W is the 23rd letter in the alphabet. S is the 19th. How does that work? Uh, uh, so, 23 it, it stands for W. Uh -huh. 19 stands for S. White sock. There's about a jillion plants in here. How am I supposed to know which one to take a sample from? Maybe this will help me figure out what plant I'm looking for. Okay, so point numbers. Accounts. That doesn't sound very helpful. Suppliers. That doesn't sound very helpful either. Shipping. Now that's more like it. Let's see what this place has been sending to whom lately. Richard Akins at Akins Biotech? That's who hired Frank and Joe Hardy to check out the models. Ooh! FERC 21 mm. was extracted from an unexpected but fortuitous mutation, which I've managed to successfully propagate. Have it tested immediately because I do believe this is the one mutation model. Something tells me that's the plan I need to get a sample from. So it's from. Okay. So B H H. Extract codes. Maybe that's what F E R C twenty one is. An extract code. Hmm. Looks like a list of substances and the names of the beds containing the plants they came from. Yes, it says here that FERC-21 was extracted from the plants in bed HH-3333. And according to that note from Dr. Craven, those plants are apparently mutants. Oh, geez. They're gonna become the Teenage Mutant Ninja plants. Uh-oh. Fighting crime. Uh-oh. Looks like I'm going uh -oh. to have to stay out of sight from here on out. save I'm for that uh, epic escape uh, sequence you gotta do like Assassin's Creed stuff now Chris you gotta like hide haystacks and stuff you know, yep. you know it's the 21st century you shouldn't be haystacks lying around everywhere and also you can just sit on plant. this won't hurt a bit take take it also, you'll be able to just sit on a bench between two people and they won't suspect a thing. Still no sign of the intruder. Over. Hey! You oh. over there! Stop! Uh, All right, oh. you! Hold it right there! Uh, I'm busted. Okay, do I ever take a sample? Yes, I did. Waverly here. Haven't seen anything or anyone unusual. Over. You! Stop! Get him! That's the guy who put security! Wait, I thought that's where the door right, was. You. Am Open I crazy? Right there. Say goodnight, Gracie. Where's the door out of here? Dirt behind the We're still barrel. patrolling, but nobody's seen anything. Over. Uh. Waverly here. Haven't seen anything or anyone unusual. Over. Okay, goodbye. I'm leaving bye -bye. now. I'm getting out of here. Woo! That was a close one. Okay, so do I have to um, look at the plant under a microscope now that I got it? Is that what I'm supposed to do? I assume. Here 
there's that weird whispering again. Man, these tribe people are nosy. Oh, like she's got some like schizophrenia going or something. Oh, uh, maybe we gotta go to the. Or never mind. Uh oh, the color of the leaf sample from the Healy Healy doesn't match the color of the frass sample. Oh, I guess I better go tell Quigley. Uh oh. Uh oh. Does that mean you just committed a crime for nothing? Yeah. Rip. I know. <sighs> Oops. Well, quickly. Only trespassing for nothing. The shoes in store for us. Yeah, that's great. I like that song. Boop, 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 boop. Well, let's figure out what does match from the samples. This will be interesting. I don't need to analyze that. You need to analyze all this. Okay, yeah. hibiscus. Hibiscus. Gonna make some tea. Definitely not blue. Okay. Mosquito. That doesn't match. No. Breadfruit. Not a match. Nope. Let's see if this is larvae. A match. Yeah. So. Looks like those caterpillars have been eating fritillated flag beetles, whatever they are. Interesting. Let's uh, just color the rest for fun. And not done that yet. doesn't match. I like the color. Not a match. Uh, okay, well, we need to go tell people. So dung beetle. Looks to me like those caterpillars have been eating nothing but fritillated flag beetles. Fritillated flag beetles? No, no, that's not possible. I've never even heard of a fritillated flag beetle. The fritillated flag beetle is a relatively minor species in this area. But if your analysis is correct, that means they're multiplying at an even greater rate than the Norsebana are. The question is, why? Fame and fortune just got put on hold, Nancy. We can't go public with this until I figure out what the heck is going on. Where are you going? Up. I do my best thinking when my feet aren't touching the ground. Don't ask me why. I've carried you long enough, Nancy. You're on your own. Oh, wait a sec. I know what you can do. There's a metal ring inside my pack. I found it at Kapu Cave when I was setting out frog traps. 
Maybe you can figure out what it's for. Darn things got me stumped. Okay, I'll oh, right. check it out. Well, that concludes the bug section of this game, thankfully. Is it a decoder room? I don't know. Well, let's go to the cave and check it out. But yeah, we're done with bug stuff. What do you think? That's, That's it. For the there's, bug no, stuff. there's no more? Nope, That's no bug bad. stuff. Nope. Aww. Can move his teeth now, dude. He needs to see a dentist. See. You're, not supposed to, you're not supposed to be able to do that. I should have brushed his teeth. I have no idea what order I'm supposed to do this. Still need to do that. Mm. Did, did that, did that. Still need to do that. Okay, I need to talk, did that. talk to Frank and Joe. Did done. 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 D done. Check. Haven't done that yet. Okay, this is where I think we have to switch to Frank and Joe now. For them to help us with this. Hello? Frank? Well, hi, it's Nancy. Sorry. Guess I expected Joe to answer. Well, as it happens, Joe's at the clinic, getting treated for a concussion. What? What happened? Someone jumped him while he was poking around Big Island Mike's Immersion Center. Just after he left that message for you, in fact. Turned around and wham! Gets knocked unconscious by someone swinging a big wooden mask. Is he gonna be okay? He'll be fine. The doctors are just doing their usual observation thing. Joe knows the drill. So what's going on with you? Well, let's see. Phew! This Quigley lady sounds like she's gonna be a real taskmaster. Anything I can do to help? Nope. So far, so good. But I discovered something that you might be interested in. Oh, yeah? Well, I was taking kind of an unauthorized tour of the Healy Healy While Research While you were Center. snooping... While I was snooping, <laughs> I came across the name of the person Malachi Craven is working for. Richard Akins. Our Richard Akins? Of Akins Biotech? Yep. Wow. That is interesting. I'm not sure what it means, but it's certainly food for thought. Might be just a coincidence. Anyway, if I find out anything else, I'll let you know. Yeah, please do. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. All right. Let's go say hi to Big Island and Mike. Frank, how's your brother? Mike, I'm sure Mr. Mike. Got it. No, they wanted to keep him under observation for a while, but he'll be fine. Joe's nothing if not hard-headed. Any idea who clobbered him? Like I told the cops, probably just some bum who wandered in off the beach looking for cash. Does that happen a lot? A couple times a year. As soon as they see me, they run like heck, but today I wasn't around, so... Somebody figured he'd help himself. Is anything missing? Nope, not a thing. Look, whoever the guy was, he's no richer, I'm no poorer. He's gone, I'm here, no big deal. Well, mm. except for your brother getting walloped like that. Do the police have any leads? Nah, real low priority case for them. The one guy I talked to barely looked around. But hey, you want to look around? Play detective like on TV? You go right ahead. Thanks for your help. Catch you later. Sure seems like he wants to brush this off. What's this? Davy's Pawn Shop. Huh. Is that in uh, is that in Big Island, Big Island Dollars or Coins or whatever it's called? Uh -oh. 808 Oh, wait. I didn't want to... Uh... Oh. Ain't nasty, Lucky. Pawn shop, this is Davey. I found a receipt from your shop that somebody dropped. I'd kind of like to find that person, so I just wondered if you could maybe tell me who you wrote it out to. 
Sure. What's the number? It's receipt number 57441. Hi, Golden. I don't know him at all. Total stranger. Well, you're not the only one who'd like to find him. Turns out the stuff I bought off of him was stolen. Cops are looking for this guy, too. Name's Johnny Kuto. Apparently, he's got a pretty nice career going for him as a freelance thief. Address he gave me turned out to be bogus. Gave me a cell phone number, too, but he never picks up. Think you could give me Kuto's phone number? Got it right here. 808-555-9258. Good luck getting him to return your call. What did you mean when you said Kudo is a freelance thief? You tell him what you want, he'll steal it for you. For a price. Cops say he's pretty good. Think he's stolen everything from microchips to airplane parts. What kind of Airplane. stuff did Kudo sell to you? Laptop, digital camera, and a PDA. Police said it was smaller than the stuff he usually goes after. Probably just needed some pocket change. Do you have any idea why Johnny Kudo would be hanging around a business called Big Island Mike's Immersion Excursions? Police mentioned that he's uh, always looking for places to hide what he steals until it's safe to deliver it. Maybe somebody at this excursion thing is helping him out. Hey, I really appreciate your help. Anytime. Mahalo. Mahalo. Okay, so he gave me the number for him, right? Where... Did he give me the number for him? Yeah. Oh, there, right there. On a kuto. The person you have called is not available. At the tone, please leave a message. Hey, Johnny. You don't know me, but you know my brother. He's the one you slugged when you were at Big Island Mike's. I know what you two have been up to. So if you're smart, you'll give me a call. 280-555-7263. I'm gonna call Richard Aiken and see if he can tell me anything about why he's working with the Healy Healy Center. Richard Aikens. Hello, Mr. Aikens. This is Frank Hardy. Calling from Hawaii? Yes, of course. In fact, I just got out of a meeting in which Pua Mapu was the main topic of discussion. Marketing is enthusiastic about using her, but they need to move quickly. So, if there's anything unsavory about the Mapus, I must know now. Unfortunately, my brother was in the process of looking around Mike Mapu's office when he was knocked unconscious. Good heavens, is he all right? The clinic wants to keep him under observation for a while, that's all. The bad part is, he didn't see who did it. Do you think the Mapus had something to do with it? I guess it's possible. Mike Mapu said it was probably just somebody who wandered in off the beach looking for cash. But I won't know anything for sure until I do a lot more checking. Please, do it quickly. Time is of the essence. What do you know about the Healy Healy Research Center? Never heard of it. It's out here where we uh -huh. are in Hawaii. Look, who cares? Why are you asking me stupid questions? Just go do what I hired you to do. Mm -hmm. What's the real reason you hired us, Mr. Aikens? My dealings with the Healy Healy are none of your concern. <laughs> it's just that Joe and I, we don't like being lied to. So unless you tell us the truth, like now, we're going to be on the next flight out of here. All right. My company owns the Healy Healy. The lead scientist there is working on a top-secret revolutionary product. Consequently, the less publicity the facility receives, the better. But for some reason, this Mike Mapu character has been spreading vicious rumors about the Hilly Hilly. And if the press picks up on them and starts sniffing around, the whole project could be compromised. So, I hired you to dig up some dirt on Mapu. So you could blackmail him into shutting up? I prefer to call it fighting fire with fire. The things he's been saying about the Healy Healy, are they just rumors? I assure you, what we are doing at the Healy Healy does not involve destroying pineapples. Quite the contrary. Now, I apologize for the subterfuge, but I was afraid the truth would only confuse things. You can quit if you want, but if the Mapus are up to something they shouldn't be, and if you walk away, you can't exactly claim the moral high ground either. We're not quitters, Mr. Aikens. We just like to know the facts. As do I, young man. As do I. Okay, so we figured out the truth. Oh. We were really hired by the man who owns Healy Healy. To blackmail this guy. Yep. yep. Hmm. We 
We should go talk to Pua. Pua. Oh. Hello? This is Kudo. What do you want? Mostly I want to know why you slugged my brother. I don't know what you're talking about. Assault and battery is a felony. I could make a lot of trouble for you. The guy double-crossed me, okay? We had a deal. I came through, he didn't. So I went looking for a way to even the score. Your brother was in the wrong place at the wrong time, that's all. What was it Mapu paid you to steal for him? You don't know anything about this, do you? Hey, I know all about it. In fact... No, wait! Hello? Hello? You there? Shoot. Huh. That's what's shady. Hey, Frank. How's Joe doing? He's still at the clinic, but he'll be fine. Nothing like that's ever happened to a guest before. Ever. You're not gonna, like, sue us or anything, are you? No, we're just gonna throw your dad in jail. Nah. Oh, that's a relief. The guy who clobbered Joe, what do you think he was doing in your father's office? You know, you sound just like the police. They ask me the same thing. Really? Must be all those cop shows I watch. Like I told the police. I have no idea who that guy was or what he was up to. Is it true you'll buy these fish from me? Let's see. Looking good. Oh, there you go. Now I get my money. Yay. Get your company script. Okay, Yay. what else? Yeah, what else do you like to doesn't do help you with paying your bills. Nothing. No. Oh, come on. You like to ride motorcycles, go to wild parties, pig out on shave ice? What? Tell me. I surf till it gets too dark. I come home, I eat, I go to bed, I get up, I surf till I gotta start teaching, I help my dad. That's it. That's my life. Wow. An adrenaline That's freak cool. like you never does anything wild and crazy? I get all the kicks I'll ever need out there on my board. Think I could rent some snorkeling equipment? Long as you've got 30 Big Island bucks, you can. Oops. Mm -hmm. Guess I'm gonna have to wait. Need anything else? I'm not sure how to tell you this, but I have reason to believe your dad is involved in something he shouldn't be. Oh. What do you mean? Oh. Like what? Like hiding or maybe even fencing stolen property for someone. What? Look, it's a real, real long story, and I can't prove anything, so you don't really have to worry. But if he was, say, trying to hide a bunch of stuff for somebody, where do you suppose he'd put it? Oh my gosh, the chamber. That's what he's been doing in there. This island is riddled with lava tubes, tunnels made by ancient volcanoes. They go all over the place. My dad knows them all. Lately, he's been spending a lot of time in one of them. He calls it the chamber because it's so big, but he refused to tell me what he's been doing. I was going to sneak down there and see for myself, but the earthquake caused this huge cave-in near the entrance. I can't get past it, but That's neither can my dad. Can so, him. whatever he's been keeping down there is still there. There's no other way to get into this chamber thing? Yes, there is. From the water. It says so on this old chart my dad has. Think I could see it? The chart? Sure. The problem is, you can't just snorkel to the entrance. You have to ride different currents to get there. The chart supposedly says how to do that, but I've never been able to figure it out. But if you can figure it out, you might be able to find the entrance. But if you do, and it turns out that my dad is doing something illegal, I want you to promise me that you won't call the police without talking to me first. I can't do that. Then you don't get the chart. Then again, maybe I can do that. I promise I won't call the police. Say it. I promise I won't call the police unless I talk to you first. Okay? Okay. The chart's in that old trunk in the immersion center. To open it, you'll need to know what my father calls his favorite flavor of shave ice. I can never remember, so you'll have to ask him. Just don't make me sorry I trusted you. Okay. So we have to figure out Big Island Mike's favorite shaved ice. Let's see if we can ask him what it is. Hey, what's going on? Ever heard of a guy named Johnny Kudo? Never heard of him. Hmm. Think Pua knows him? She might have gone out with him or something. Why are you asking? I think he may be the guy who clobbered Joe. Playing Kojak, huh? Well, I wish I knew something about this Kudo guy, but I don't. Uh, Hang on, I'll be right back. I really have to use the restroom. <laughs> just leave the recording and just, just stare at him for a second.
You there, Kristen? All right, Vic, I think we need to like leave something, <laughs> leave a funny message for her. She comes oh. back to his quote. <laughs> oh. Yes. The guy over here who we're staring at, he did it. He did it. He did it all. He did it? Yeah, he did it. He did it? Yep. He did it. He killed him. Rat. Is this your pawn ticket? I found it over there. Never seen it before. Then maybe it belonged to the guy who clobbered Joe. Or maybe it's been lying there for weeks. The guy who cleans this place doesn't exactly keep it spotless. Namely, me. So you're saying you're a dirty person that never cleans up? I'm right. curious. What's your favorite flavor of shave ice? Tell you what, I'm kinda hungry, so I'm gonna make you guess. You make me a shave ice and bring it back here. If it's my favorite flavor or combination of flavors, I'll tell you. If it's not, well, you'll just have to keep making them till you get it right. Okay. I think I can handle that. Like I always say, a busy customer is a happy customer. Good talking to you. Catch uh. you later. All right. Man. Let's stay a mile away from this place if I were on vacation. <laughs> Okay. Um, I okay. I have a little money. I'm gonna save the game so that I don't like s spend tons of money trying to guess this. Okay. Uh. All right. Um. There we go. Now I'll just take this to Big Island Mike and hope that it's his favorite flavor. Let's see. Want something else? Got a shave ice for you to try. Let's have it. <sighs> mm, you got two of the flavors, right? Mm -hmm. Try again. Big Island Mike and hope that it's his favorite flavor. Man, if people didn't save their game, they'd waste a lot of money doing this. Yeah, Want something else? Got fish. A for you to try. Let's have it. <sighs> you did it. There we that go. That was my favorite flavor combination. Lime, coconut, and mango. I call it Honey Awa. That's Hawaiian for sour kiss. Well, I don't want one of those. Thanks for your help. Catch you later. Who wants a sour kiss? Exactly, no one. Honey, <laughs> 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 oh, what did he call it? Awa. Dude, looks like he has something to do with getting into that chamber thing. What? 
I've never seen him before. But maybe Nancy has. La la. Hello? Hey, Nance, it's me. Listen, I just came across something kind of weird, and I thought I'd see if you knew anything about it. I'd love to be able to help you. What is it? Well, it's a drawing of this creepy face that has a mouthful of teeth with all these animals on them. Wait a minute. I saw a face like that. It was carved into this wall I found while emptying frass jars for Quigley. Tell me more about the animals. Well, there's an eel, a turtle, a shark, a manta ray, a porcupine fish, an octopus, a crab, and an urchin. Hmm, interesting. Maybe I'll go back and take another look at it. It has something to do with this old map I found, so I have the feeling it's important. Then I'll definitely take another look at it. Thanks, Nance. See ya. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Let me see what I can do here. There we go. I'd better call and tell Frank. I guess I'm just carrying around a brass uh, pouch in my hand. You have reached uh, Joe Hardy and or Frank Hardy. Only we're not available. At the tone, please leave a message. Frank, it's Nancy. Hey, remember that creepy face that had been carved into a wall? The one with all the pictures on his teeth? Well, thanks to that list of animals you gave me, the face opened up. And I'm about to explore whatever's behind it. I don't know if or how this helps you, but I just thought I'd let you know. Anyway, I'm going in, so wish me luck. All right. I'm gonna save the game. All right. Phew, I feel like I'm in a sauna. It's hot. It's lava. No wonder it's so hot in here. Yeah, that's your toes. Oh, no, no, not touching his toes. Okay, never mind. Ew, why would I want to touch his toes, Sonny? I don't know if touching his, I don't know if his toes is some kind of, like, <laughs> puzzle or not. Oh, oh, like it's kind of like, or something. oh, like the uh, statue in the uh, Blackmore Manor game? Yeah. With the fingers or the toes, whatever that was, yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we're here. I'm gonna put an F in the chat in. <laughs> no, you don't. I wonder if these pictures tell some kind of story. I just did. Thanks. I can't look at it right now, so it doesn't even matter. It is two. This will be 
This will be the third one, because then the turtle's right here. Um, okay. Then right here is the fourth one. And then we need the fifth one. I think I'm missing one. I think this would be the fifth one because there's eggs. And it looks like the eggs hatch. So it'd be six. La la. I like his eyeballs. Oh no. Not creepy. Okay, I need, That's to, not creepy I need to move either. out of the way. There we go. Frank, it's Nancy. Hey, remember that creepy face that had been carved into a wall? The one with all the pictures on his teeth? Well, thanks to that list of animals you gave me, the face opened up. And I'm about to explore whatever's behind it. I don't know if or how this helps you, but I just thought I'd let you know. Anyway, I'm going in, so wish me luck. Hmm. If the pictures on that old current chart helped her, maybe whatever she just did to open up that face will somehow help me. Okay. Well, I need to get diving equipment, so I need to earn some money with the illegal uh, money system. Yep. <laughs> the company script. Yep, the company script. So that way, you're completely and totally dependent on the company. Yep. It's basically glorified slavery. Yep. I'm going to purchase some zippy bait. Yay. Zippy. They Where's... went from a gas station service mm -hmm. to an international call service. See now they do bait. Okay, Thanks for your help. Anytime. Phone. How's my dear phone? Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? I never played this. Okay, I'm going to save the game so that I don't <laughs> waste any money. And I just want to, I just want to play this real quick. This looks like it might be kind of fun. And then when we're done, we'll just reload. If we get like a bunch of money from this. We'll see. Huh? Okay. Is this like... Computer. Oh, it's like rock, paper, scissor. Okay. Uh. Uh. Computer. save and have never played this. Come on, fire, 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 fire. Peter. Well, that was disappointing. I'm just gonna go fishing now. Would you, would you like to join me, Sonny and Vic, and go fishing? Oh, yes. Okay. Hey, what's going on? Guess I'll get out of your hair. Have fun. Yeah, I don't want to be in your hair. You can't do that! What's uh -oh. the matter with you? That was fast. How did she go inside so fast? I know. I'm not. You'll do what I tell you. No, I'm not going to listen to you ever again. So put back here. Pua! Well, Pua insta jumped into the uh, shop and argued and left. That happens. That happens. Yeah, I do that all the time. 
All right, time to fish. Sunny, tell us a story. <laughs> um. Oh, I gotta think about this. I were great with stories on the fly. Uh, I thought about a story last. Uh, honestly, like a while after you last asked me that question, I thought of a story. Oh, you need to write it down so next time I ask that, you have a story. Uh, you know. Sometimes. I hate driving. Yeah. Like school, to and from school, sometimes I hate it. Yeah. Because, uh. I get really tired <laughs> behind the wheel. <laughs> and, uh. There have been times where I've been legitimately scared for my life. Thinking you were gonna fall asleep at the wheel? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's and, like, terrible. having trouble keeping my eyes open. Oh no. Like, I remember one time, like, I almost thought it off, and, like, by the time I, like, opened up my eyes, I saw a car just rapidly get closer to me. Oh, my god! Because, like, everyone stopped. Sonny, that's terrible. I know. That's a terrible that's really story. I, I, you know, now you know why I drink coffee so much, Crispin. Yep. Now you know why. Yep. That's the reason why. Okay. Stay well, safe. And also, like... I got one. Staying up late, but. Comment down below how do you stay awake when you're driving? Help Sunny today. I've done things like move, like constantly just moving around while I'm driving. It's. Ah, it's, it's so annoying. I hate it. Missed it. But for, oh. there's nothing more relaxing for some reason than driving at like 70 miles an hour. You know, I knew someone that kept a bunch of sunflower seeds in their car so they could chew on something while they were driving to stay awake. That, would, uh, that honestly would work. It wasn't for the fact that thing might be distracted by the sunflower seeds. <laughs> There's a story. Thanks. I hope everyone on YouTube enjoyed that story too. Rats. Comment down below. What do you do to stay awake when you drive? Maybe we can help Sunny figure something out. Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I had coffee going to and going from school. Mm -hmm. like, and I'll. And it was some like pretty rich coffee. Uh -huh. And uh, I'll tell you. It's a tired. Sure. Oh, here's a story. Here's a story I think you guys will like. Oh, okay. About fishing. Cool. When I was young. Um. So I used to go to a lake a lot. Yeah. Um. And I'd fish. Um. And I remember they were that I was gonna leave. Uh, there was one. this fish underneath the boat. I was kind of like hanging out like underneath the boat, but like next to the dock. Um. So. I decided to go and grab a pole and try to see if I could catch it. And this fish, this was a weird fish because it was smart and knew I was knew what I was trying to do. And not only that, but it kind of wanted to—I think it kind of wanted to screw me over. Uh -huh. Um, by uh, basically trying to eat, like nibble up my bait, but not like actually get on the hook. But what was even yes. weirder. Was that it was obsessed with my little weight, you know, the, the weight they put on a uh, fishing line so they go deeper. Mm -hmm. I was obsessed with my weight. A little weight on the line. Mm -hmm. And I managed to get it to actually like bite on the weight and swallow the hook press that. Oh. And then that's when I, uh, er, I don't know if I actually got on the hook, but. It had, it had eaten, it had eaten the weight in it. But, um, so that's when I was attempting to, to reel it in. And this guy fought, this guy fought. And unfortunately, he got loose. Oh. 
that little Fish booger. Story. Thank you for the story. Well, we're all out of bait, so let's go sell these and see uh, what we can make. That sounds like some bait. Hey, or what's going on? Some Got you some more, more fish. Money. Let's see. Yeah. Looking good. There you go. How much did I Hooray. make? I need 30. I need 30. Huh? Okay, what else? Uh, ooh. That was some argument you and your dad had. You heard us? Always. I think everyone within 10 square miles heard you. My dad can act like such a loser sometimes. I know. So can mine. He is such a loser. What did your dad do? Let's talk about something else, okay? <laughs> do you know that he tried to get some info and she sidestepped that? Yep, He's like, yeah, yep. my dad's so lame. What my dad's so lame. <laughs> my dad's such a loser. He's a That's not what the argument was about. <laughs> My dad is so. Unlike like he was doing some legal. Sound like he was doing something legal she didn't like. I know. He was all like, "Yeah, my dad's lame too." So what did your dad do? And she's like, "So anyways." Guess I'll get out of your hair. Let me know when you want to try surfing again. How much money you got? Twenty-three. Twenty-three. I have to go. I gotta go fishing again. More zippies. More zippy doodah. That's okay. I'll I'll get it in no time. Will you? Yes. Okay. Ooh, Vic. Hmm? Tell us something about Hawaii. It's very hot. <laughs> it's very hot. I'm gonna say. And most people surf. And most people surf. Did you surf at all? No. No. <laughs> Why not? I ain't afraid to say that. I don't, I'm not a surfer. You're not a surfer. Oh, that's all right. My brother and dad surf. I mean, they haven't in probably a long time, but they they were surfers at one point in the Cali waves. My aunt is a surfer, but. Whoa! I got one. Not me. Mama Bear used to longboard. Yeah. Yeah, Grandma used to longboard. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that right, Sonny? Yes. We're gonna yes. make some money in no time. We're gonna make that money. Alright, Kristen, now you tell us the story. Alright, well, um, one time I was playing this game. Um,. When I was in junior high and my eldest niece had never been to Hawaii before, but she was going to go that week. So I made her play this game with me so she had an idea of what Hawaii was like. Mm. And that is one of my most prominent memories of this game was telling my niece, look, this is what Hawaii will look like. You're going to have so much fun. Look, you can... Go fishing and make shell necklaces for Big Island Mike when you get there. Oh. She wasn't that fond of Big Island Mike, though. Gee. She was an eight-year-old child at the time. I wonder why. I got one. Yay! All right. Hey, there we go. He said his saying for the day. Oh. I'm probably gonna have enough once we finish the fishing.
So I posted my, uh, my Read a Rabbit game today, and someone commented on my channel and asked, have you thought about doing a separate channel for these uh, nostalgic edutainment games? And I told right. him, I told him, you know, well, I didn't write this. I thought in my head, I had thought of that. I mean, I've thought of all the options I could do whenever I put a pro, you know, when I put effort into a project, I think of everything I could do with it. And I ended up commenting back and I told him that I like having all the different things I like on one channel because, and Vic probably knows this, my YouTube or my Twitch channel's mantra has always been the place for diverse gaming. It would say that in the description of the Twitch channel. So I told I told him that I like having all aspects of who I am on Little Bumble Bear because Little Bumble Bear is me, right? So I like Fallout, I like Bioshock, I like Kingdom Hearts, I like Reader Rabbit, I like Putt Putt. I can ha I can play it all, you know. Yeah. You can't get more diverse than that. You can play it all, but you don't necessarily have all the time in the world to play every single thing at any given moment. Exactly. So I would rather have everything I like just condensed into one channel with all the playlists, and people can look through them and see alphabetically what I've yes. played or streamed, and they might find something they like or discover something new. That's what I like. I don't want to separate it because there's tons of niche channels that do that. But my niche is that I do everything. <laughs> hey, what's going uh, on? Got you some more fish. Let's see. Looking good. There you go. And with this money, you might be able to buy your freedom. Oh, good. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> okay, what else? Think I could rent some snorkeling equipment? Long as you've got thirty Big Island bucks, you can. There you go. And there you go. This dry bag is great. I can keep my clothes with me while I'm snorkeling. I got my freedom. No, I got. Need anything else? Here. Wow, Sunny, I was really trying to be positive there. <laughs> I'll check back with you later. Have fun. I think positive. Oh. Oh, I remember what that silly oh game does. What? It gives you a shark tooth so you can make one of the necklaces. Which I think uh, is kind of lame, because if you keep losing, you're never going to get that necklace made. Yeah. Alright, we're going to go snorkeling. You guys ready? Yep. Yay! Woo! Yay! <sighs> okay, Darth Vader. Save my game after all that stupid fishing. Now, did we get to see Nancy Drew? The chamber pool told the cross me about must be in there. Uh oh, 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 okay. We're getting close to the end, so you guys need to give me your final guesses of who the um, culprit is. Um, okay. I'm gonna go with Big Island Mike because his pyramid scheme is just whack. <laughs> oh, pyramid scheme. But it is whack. <laughs> um. Oh, what should be like cool? So you're gonna go with Pua? Um, I don't know. Honestly, I'm really not sure. Uh, I guess Pua. Okay. Winnie La Pua. All Pua. right. All right. It could be Mike. It could be the doctor guy, but I don't know. Oh, there's I don't that boulder! Like... 
There's that bullet hey. that Nancy uh, avoided. We. Oh. Cool. It's really nasty. Kind of taking one for the team. That's. Oh, oh never mind. You're supposed to. I'm supposed to. Oh, yeah. I can meet up with Nancy. She's over here. Nancy! Right? Nancy, where you at? We need to confirm or deny whether or not you're actually Kristen. Alright. Whoa, what's this? Holy cow, those things are covered with tiny beetles. Man, whatever's inside those canisters, those beetles are going for it. Big time. Wow. Frank, what are you doing here? Oh, I, uh, oh there's well, Big Island. Hey, hey, hey I got it right. What is all this? I feel like Big Island might be too, like, obvious. That's what it is. I've made Pele mad. Dad? How did you get in here? I finally found a lava tube that bypasses the main tunnel. Pua? You followed me? I had to find another way in here. So I let you figure out that chart, and then, yes, I followed you. It's over, Pua. I'm dumping those things right now. Hey. Dad, no! We're in too deep. We've got to go through with it now. Wait a minute. You're in this whatever it is together? You were both so right! We both right? Yes. <laughs> we the won! Reverts to us. <laughs> Land we could turn right around and sell to developers. So I used John and Kudo to steal us some chemicals that would make insects start destroying the pineapples. And made it sound like Kane Okala was back to keep people out of the jungle so they wouldn't see us spraying. And then we spread the rumor that whatever was killing the pineapples was the Healy Healy's fault. My father owes a lot of money to some really bad people. That's why we did it. And if you could just not tell anyone about this, everything will be fine. No, Pua. Pele destroyed the tunnel for a reason. She was telling us to stop. No, Pua. Pele destroyed the tunnel for a reason. She was telling us to stop. It's Frank. No, Pua. It's over. The earthquake was a warning. This isn't right, and if we don't stop next, she'll destroy us. Uh-oh. You see? You see? Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. That's, nice. that's cool. Frank, are you all right? Hey, Nance. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm okay. Be kind of nice to get back on solid ground, though. Any ideas? Jump from rock to rock and head for the stairs in front of you. The ones behind Big Island Mike. But be careful. A rock that's there one minute may not be there the next. There. Oh, that kind of cut her oh, off. Oh, hey. Um. What? I think. Because that kind of cut off her prop point. It was like, do uh, and then stop. Yeah, that's. that's oh. Rip. <laughs> You thought I died. Yeah, right. Wait, what's going on? It's a random Don't game. Don't get it. It's a random Don't game. Don't get it. I know. They're going down into the lava, and then they're coming back. It's a gift. It's something. Ahmed, um, this is one of my least favorite um, ways to end the Nancy Drew game. Not my favorite, it's kind of silly. Whoa. How does this work? How is this making sense? I gotta get to the other side. There we go, I did it. Oh man, I've never been so glad to see solid ground in my life. Nice work, Nan. Tell that to them. All the time we spent on this thing wasted. I should have just gone surfing. And I should have just gone with you. <laughs> Big Island Mike and Pua finally made it to safety, and all of us managed to get out of the cave using the lava tube that Mike had discovered. Much to their credit, he and Pua turned themselves in immediately, although it took a while for the authorities to figure out exactly what to charge them with. As for what they had done, here's how Big Island Mike explained it. Desperate to pay off the loan sharks to whom he owed a lot of money, Big Island Mike remembered something. The land that Healy Healy Research Facility was on used to belong to his aunt. 
She willed it to the foundation that built the facility with the stipulation that the land would go to Mike if and when the Healy Healy ever closed its doors. And so he set out to force the Healy Healy out of business, knowing that once the land was his, he could sell it and pay off all his debts. First, capitalizing on what he knew about pineapples, he used to work for a pineapple grower. Big Island Mike hired Johnny Kudo to steal canisters of pheromones for him. He knew that when sprayed in the jungle, these pheromones would cause an explosion in the population of the tiny and normally benign fritillated flag beetle. To lower their risk of being seen, the Mapu spread the rumor that Connie Okala was once again prowling the island. Then they sprayed the chemicals, and soon fritillated flag beetles were everywhere. Dr. Kim finally figured out that the weird whispering noise I had heard was the beetles rubbing their little legs together in some kind of greeting ritual. Soon, the beetle larvae, which are practically microscopic, started feeding on the local pineapples. And when it became apparent that something strange was going on with the pineapple crop, the Mapus began circulating the rumor that the Healy Healy was to blame. And their plan almost worked. The rumor made one of the Healy Healy's current owners, Richard Aiken, so nervous that he hired the Hardy Boys to dig up something, anything that he could use to discredit the Mapus and shut them up. And if word had gotten out that Malachi Craven, who it turns out is the one who tore Dr. Kim's camp up in a fit of anger mismanagement, was working what? with plant mutations, public mm. pressure may have indeed caused the Healy Healy to he close its the, doors. He was the loud monster. But thanks to Frank and Joe and Dr. Kim and yours truly, oh. the Mapu's plot was exposed, and the fritillated flag beetle population quickly fell to its normal size, as did that of the Norsobeta odorata moth. So, how did I spend the rest of my time on the Big Island? Well, let's just say when it comes to cleaning frass jars, I am an expert. That's great, so, Nancy. You just cleaned up animal dung the rest of your trip. That's really cool. Sometimes it'd be that way. Sometimes it'd be that way, though. Yeah. Okay, sassy detective. Congratulations on cracking the case. You've been awarded the title of... Hardy helper for letting Frank and Joe know what you learned about Richard Aikens. Oh, I guess a lot of people don't know that's, their way to do that. That's really? Yeah. That's, that's really such a, such a, such a wonderful achievement. I, I <laughs> guess. Gave you I guess some people don't think to call. I've done harder things in this game. I know. Anyways, I am very excited for this next game. Are you ready to see what our next mystery is going to be? Sure. Maybe. It has a special guest star. Bad things have been happening to the guests at Icicle Creek Lodge. They come for winter fun, like ice skating, cross-country skiing, and snowshoeing. But some leave, fearing for their lives. Of course, the lodge is located deep in the wilds of the Canadian Rockies, and it is the dead Andy. of an unusually cold, snowy winter. But is the lodge simply unlucky? Is it the target of some mysterious curse? Or is someone behind these strange events? Or does it have something to do with the elusive wolf that haunts the surrounding hills, howling before each new it's disaster? It's Kaya! Help me find out in my next adventure, hey. The White Wolf of Icicle Creek. I really do like this game, though. So next we're going to Canada, eh? Yep, we're going to Canada in the next game. We're in the Canada next game, eh? <laughs> All right, so tell me... Please tell me your thoughts. How did you like this mystery? Neat. It was neat. How about you, Vic? Uh, okay, I'm just gonna rate it instead of saying it's just neat. Um, it's neat. I give it about an eight. Give it an eight. All right. What did? What was your favorite part about this, Vic? The setting, I would say. The setting. Yeah, the Hawaii. Yeah. How about you, Sunny? What did you like about this game? Um, so I'd say the setting too. You like, yeah, it takes place in Hawaii. It's really nice and tropical. I'm with you. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, like, comment down below telling us how you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more Nancy Drew to come. Our next mystery will be in Canada with the White Wolf of Icicle Maybe. Creek, a personal favorite of mine in the top 10, definitely. Remember, you are special and loved. You are never alone. You're always welcome to come hang out with us anytime. So until next time, God bless and thank you as always for watching.